These are the top 10 skills of the decade, my friends, and not just the top moves. We got some top players and skills you haven't seen and some you haven't even thought of. So let's get right into it. This video would not be a top 10 without our boy here. Ronaldinho is the king of the Elastico, and he gets us going with one of his insane signature skills. Breaking down why his Elastico is so deadly is what we at Golaremi are all about, and notice the setup. The little touches, the way his body is relaxed before he throws it, the true Elastico is one fluid motion, not two touches. So you can make this happen by not only using your feet, but your hips and full leg in order to get that reach and pull. Remember, if the ball is moving forward like it is here, that'll make the move even easier easier to pull off because of the forward momentum. Ronaldo Chop is probably one of Ronaldo's most recognizable moves, and it makes this list because it's actually simple and effective. Whether you're on the wing or headed out towards goal, this is the type of move that will guarantee you a bit of space when done right. There's no need to complicate this. The faster you and the defender are running, the more effective this move becomes. And if they're flying in to catch up to a loose ball, even better. To make the move as effective as possible, you're going to want to jump and be airborne for a split second and make sure that the chop comes from a bit further back on the heel rather than the toe like the Cruyff, and you'll be all good. And welcome back to another edition of Biscuits and Tea with Team Golaremi, a sophisticated, educated program for classy individuals. And if them don't come up to my house from Newcastle, I'm a Sherlock Holmes on them like it's the fifth day of a fish and chips. You all right, mate? Welcome, my friends, to Churchill, Yorkshire, Kensington Park. Gola Ramey Library, right? I'm coming over to the globe, right? What does that say? England, all day, right? The world is coming home. The world is one football, mate. It's one football, that's all you need. You need one football. Every Redknapp, a good friend of mine, a good friend of Gola Ramey's, right? Are you lot subscribed? Are you subscribed, right? This right is one now. football, right? One football. One football, one Two. globe, right? Not three fair. No. One football with the queen. T going down. T with the queen at 3.30. Right. Not 3.30. At 3.30. I'm from Liverpool. He's from London. I'm from Birmingham. Newcastle. You're from Birmingham. Where's anyone from? Sometimes I look out this window and I think about how I got so special and I go, window, window. No. You lot have a good day. You get out my face right now. Download the One Football app, which has literally everything you need in order to follow the game. You can choose your favorite team and leagues. You can follow them, and you can, of course, choose your favorite national team and be completely up to date with how they're doing. You've got live scores on matches from all over the world and top news from everywhere. And don't forget about the Trending Now section, where you can see highlights from games and training. It's a very cool app. The download link is right below in the description box, so please check them out and support the channel. Such a simple, dope move. The Croqueta deserves its own video which is why we of course made one check it out down below but to explain the move it's nothing more than a push from side to side avoid kicking the ball like you would on a pass and look to push it from one foot to the other to make it more effective you can widen your legs to escape the defender but the setup is what is truly key here one of the few moves that will work even if you're going slow most effective near the sideline where the defender thinks you'll run out of room if you don't know this move you're missing out there's nothing we really need to say about Il Fenomeno. He's a soccer god, and we could take 50 different skills for him, but nothing was more deadly than his speed step over. And the move Team Golarebi has dubbed L'Imperatore. First, for the deadly scissor, three steps. Build up speed, crank out that scissor with your full body, legs, hips, and drop the shoulder, and then explode like a piece of wheat in Western Kansas. We don't need to overcomplicate this move. Train it over and over again, and if you want more, check out all our step over videos in the description box. On to the Imperatore. This is a great move for just outside the box. Notice a couple of fakes, and then I take off to the right, stepping over the ball with my left foot. And with my right foot, I tap the ball slightly in the same direction we're running and let it roll just past me. At this point, it seems fairly simple, but the key is in now making a body feint to the left, like we were gonna take off with the ball in that direction, which, of course, we're not. It'll take a couple of times to get the timing right and the feel to move down, but it's well worth having in your bag of tricks. The feint, the move 
Messi made badass. There's an elegance behind the way Messi does his, and that's what we're going to break down. It's Messi's change of pace that makes it so lethal. Whether he starts from an almost standstill or running at a decent pace, it's the quick lean and drop that makes it so deadly. We have a full Messi video and a top five body feints video for you to check out, so hop on those if you want to go more in depth. But the Messi drop feint is insane. It's a crazy mix between a feint and a croquetta, and it's all sorts of crazy, but it's definitely effective. Approach the defender as if you weren't up to anything at all, and once you feel them starting to bite, use your strong foot to push off while doing the croquetta at the same time to get around the guy. The speed with which you can do this is gonna determine your success, so train like crazy to get it down. Along with Benzema, Eto may fall right up there with the most underrated strikers of all time. The guy was insanely fast and could cut like a psycho. We made a whole video on the Suarez Cup because he has his own rendition, but just watch how many times he uses this situation to his advantage. Cut, cut, cut. You get the point. The cut is not a standard wind-up cutback. If you do that in this situation, you lose the advantage. This is almost a front chop. He lets the ball run, and he cuts into himself. Defenders just didn't seem to understand how effective this truly was, and once again, practice makes perfect, but if you're a striker, you need this in your arsenal. All money that I don't accept. The Neymar rainbow is wild. It's constantly getting him into trouble, though, because he does it, and then the other team just gets mad, and they want to kill him. But in any case, here's how you can do it so you can piss off some defenders too. Instead of the big windup, like you can see here with Ilhan's rainbow over Roberto Carlos, what Neymar looks to do is just trap the ball in between his legs and flick it over you. He hops and moves at the same time, which allows him to get some momentum going in the same direction. You can obviously use it as a pass, as he does here, but the most important thing for you to remember is to not telegraph your movements. If the defender knows what's about to happen, it's very easy to defend against, and you don't want that. The fastest step overs, I don't know. Either one of the Renaults. The craziest step overs, I have no idea. But the smoothest step overs of all time are Robinho's. There is no debate on this. This man can make humans move out of the way like a Jedi without using speed or strength to get past you. Robinho continues the ball in Turkey, and if you want to make your step overs smooth like him, you've got to focus on a few key things. Number one, keep the ball moving and rolling forward to give you time to pull off the step overs. Use your full body in order to get going. Relax your shoulders and make sure not to leave your body completely stiff. And make sure you have the time and space to pull off these types of moves or it's a near certainty that you are gonna get whacked. number one because even after all this time we have absolutely no idea how this man figured out that this would work it just doesn't make sense Raquel May was a super baller and this move is crazy to break it down when facing the defender we deliberately start to turn to the side with one touch and in our second touch we then drag the ball behind us as we turn to face completely away from the defender who by now is probably thinking that this should be a simple tackle we then use our other foot to heal the ball through the legs of the defender and out we go. Many of you may have seen this move in our top 10 skills video, and what you don't know is that this is a random guy that happened to be on the field that day who we just asked if he could defend for a second, and then threw out the move, and it worked perfectly, because it's a dope move, and we'd love to see you guys do it too. So hit us up in the comments with the other skills that we missed, and make sure to throw us a like and subscribe, and we will see you guys later. Peace. You played, so this was when they were the best team in the MLS, mm -hmm. if they played the best team in the Premier League 10 times, what would the results be? They'd w they would tie or win once. He said he, he hoped they could tie one time. They would tie or win once. The yeah. best team, did you say? Yeah, the best, the, team best versus the best. They would tie or win once. Yeah, that's what uh, However, though, with the, the problem is, though, playing teams like that, it wouldn't be necessarily fair. After, like, the third or fourth game, we could bring in a defensive specialist, and we could yeah. pack that shit in, <laughs> pack it in, and you frustrate them. Yeah. And you could you could pull out some more ties. Get a fast break. Yeah, you could pull out some more ties. <laughs> but obviously, and like it tells me like if a package is supposed to come or if it didn't come or if they had wow. trouble delivering it, it'll say like, "Hey, package is delivered." So when you walk in, though, yeah. So it just knows that. Well, it, ha it has like a little ring that will like blink. 
has a little and, ring. That yeah, and it'll blink. say like one no, one new notification. Okay, so it's like and an answering machine. Pretty much, and so it'll you, tell you. And I can even connect. This except for it, it can kill you, and it knows everything about probably. you. Probably, but <laughs> it can connect to your phone too, and then be like, okay, this person, you missed a call from this person. It's pretty okay. cool. But I just, I just, that makes me uncomfortable, man. When I was growing up, the answering machine didn't talk to me. I tell you to talk. I tell you when to talk. Listen, they how already, to talk. They already have all the answers. Doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, but see, I don't. I just, Doesn't matter. They already have it all. I know everything is listening. Like we have a lot of electronics yeah. in here right now, and all For of it's sure. listening to us. For sure, hundred percent. So believe in yourself. Work hard, train hard. That's a model that's failed. It's gonna rain me, rocking out a KC. Not afraid to take risks and hold it.